J Balls Out Prime Comedy Podcast. Pre Apocalypse Podcast, how are we? Oh, jeez, shit yourself. <laughs> I hope not, you got toilet paper or what? Actually, I do. Not a lot of it, but I do. <laughs> you got a pool, you'll be fine. Yeah, well, I'll have a dunk in the old pool later. Do you reckon Kid Rock knows we're using his uh, intro music yet? Probably. You should probably tag him in it. Yeah, I don't know, he'd probably get all. I don't know. Yeah. Suey, yeah. Ass on my phone, killed them dudes before. There's a special source. There's nothing going on in the world. No. <laughs> <laughs> what's, a, what's a million of nothing? Come on, man. Yeah, come after me. <laughs> Step outside if you get the balls. Would be good publicity. <laughs> oh, fuck it. We'll get him. We'll phone him in. <laughs> How do you feel about this kid, Rob? I wouldn't know what to talk to him about, in all honesty. Oh, no. Nah, he's. Uh, I, look, I like his music. I don't know. I've, I've, I've liked his music for a while, but. I think I said to you a while back. He's not as poor as people make out to be. Like, as not poor as he grew up poor. He grew up poor. No, no he didn't. He no. plays that role as he's right. Really poor. Like, yeah. His old man was like a property tycoon. Ah, uh, right. Okay. Which was really weird. Though. <laughs> but what do I know? Still, don't want to get sued by him. But um, that'd be fun. Come outside. Come on. <laughs> Come get me. I'll fight. I'll fight you for that. Fifth, I'll fight you for that 15 seconds of music. Yeah, that'd be hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, we might be, might be the only people listening to him at the moment. Who knows? He hasn't, yeah. come, he hasn't come out with anything for a while, has he? No, not for a while. No, we're doing, while. Him, doing him a favour. Yes, we're kind of. We're sort of. Uh, what that, that tool? Yeah, all right. It's, yeah, okay. No, we're not. Let's fight him. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to fight anyone. We need we need to band together. This is a time where everyone needs unity. Have you, have you, have, yeah, you've seen that on the TV. Like we've all got to band together. Yeah, and shit. Band no together man, fuck that what? shit. Every man for himself. No, you can't band together because it's meant to be social distancing. No. You can't. What is it now? Oh fuck knows. It's a meter and a half. What's the date today? Just so people have some reference. It's uh, it's twenty first of March. Twenty um, first. Fuck. It's yeah, it's the quickest apocalypse I've ever seen. Um, not that I've lived through many, but um, I, I knew I knew something was fucked. Petrol's been so cheap for the last three weeks. I knew it was too good to be true. Yeah, but they were saying. Uh, did, did you notice they were saying that um, uh, BP's been price hiking? Of course they have. They've actually not dropped the price. <laughs> They're They're probably still probably still trying to pay off those lawsuits for dumping all that oil. But that's wrong. In the ocean. That's fucking wrong. Oh no, it was an accident. Apparently. Yeah, they beached a, they beached a few oil. Do- oil. Do- the dolphin must have hit the, the, the big tanker <laughs> as it was going through its waters. <laughs> You're in my territory. You're in my territory. <laughs> oh, who knows. But no, petrol's stupidly cheap at the moment, which makes me worried, because usually... Well, yeah, I don't know, it just seems too good to be true. Yeah, but you got to... You, yeah, I'm, I'm unhappy, but you're, you've got a fucking little three, three four-cylinder car. What are you wasting? What do you what do you spend on petrol? I mean, you drive a lot. I do drive a lot. Um, I'm actually due to service my car, and I only did it like two months ago. <laughs> like, okay. Yeah, uh, li- li- little Yaris does maybe six fifty to a tank. Jeez, it's not bad. No, it's not. But you know, I gig, you know, at least every second night. Live in Franks, and that doesn't help. So I'm already at a disadvantage on that one. But on the plus side, it takes me. Five minutes to get to work and I'm still late. <laughs> just like uh, I don't, I don't spend any to get to work. It's just uh, it's just gigs, really. Yeah. Thank fuck, some of them paid. So yeah, but still, still, oh, still using it. But um, I discovered the other day I can use E10. Oh, didn't which say. is even cheaper. Yeah. Fuck, it's not bad. Yeah, fucking laughing. But uh, yeah, that all. That'll get hyped up soon enough. Just waiting for it. Well, they said it was down to a dollar. I think it was just this morning I heard. On the way here, there's a dollar ten. Uh, yeah. United. Uh, uh, that's uh, the Westgate. Yeah, it's ridiculous. That's cheap. Which makes me think something worse is going to happen. So, what's worse going to happen? You, you know, you're stuck at home, at home with your wife. What, what, what could <laughs> be worse than that? <laughs> that bending's worse. <laughs> <laughs> And I think you're alright. Uh, I'm, I'm not saying shit. Yeah, actually, I was, I was laughing. Somebody actually said, "What are the what are the freaks going to do about Tinder now? Oh yeah. yeah. How do they 
How do they get a date? How do they? No idea. It's, it's no hilarious. idea. No idea. I've done my time on Tinder never again. But, oh, um, hell. This will be the time where you recruit your fuck buddies, or if you're polyamorous, you get everyone in the one room and just get over and done with. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, get a tape measure out. Alright, <laughs> <laughs> right, you're next. You're up. Shower first. Yeah, no, take a number. <laughs> oh, fuck, could you imagine? You feel like a deli, like a fucking meat deli. Take a number, come up when I call you. Bing, 48, you're out. I don't, I don't know how they do that, polyamory people. I mean, however you party is how you party. I'm not judging, I'm just. I, I don't understand it. I'm not dissing it. I just don't understand it. But, that, but that's but, me. But that's been going on for thousands of years. Oh. Technically, if you look at it, right, with, and then, you know, I'll speak from a Muzo's perspective. Yeah. You know, that whole adage of marrying seven wives. Oh, yeah, but they're not married. They're just... They're together. Yeah. You know. They're different. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's the same principle to a point. You know what I mean? Yeah. They live in one house. No, they don't. Oh, well, okay. oh the Muzo's. Muslims do. Maybe. Yeah, they do. I, I don't know. My point is, I think it's been going on for years. <laughs> yeah. In, Good on them. In, in, the <laughs> in theory, it's been going on for years, but uh, it, I, I, I just look at it as a more intricate way to be single and keeping keeping uh, keeping your sex life happening. Yeah, but it's a bullshit thing. I think we talked about touched on this last week. I think I've touched on it a few times in stand-up, but like, I, yeah, yeah I, it's it, I, th I think who, who, who came up with this shit now, like, it's the guy that's trying to get in the pants of the girl. <laughs> no, it's okay, we're friends, but we're going to fuck. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. It's not going to happen, you know, this. it's just fuck boys. We oh, talked yeah. about this last week, and uh, I don't know, I mean, <laughs> I don't know what to say to you guys, I mean, shit, man. Oh, Whatever see. you want to do, do whatever the fuck you want to do, but yeah, people are yeah. allowed to not understand it. It's fine. Yeah, it's like, I don't, I don't There's know. nothing wrong with that. I'm not dissing it. I'm not it's saying you can't do it. I'm not bagging it out. You can do whatever not you want. I'm bagging it. Just saying from... You know, you've got a bit extra time now. See what happens. <laughs> <laughs> just get get whoever's on your roster closest to home. Could you, could you imagine if it turned to shit now? What would half the people do? I, was, I don't know. I was thinking about that. Like I've, I've, I've been watching the people going out for Dunny Paper. I've been oh, seeing yeah. the shop, the shops, you know, getting fucking pillaged. I'm surprised like, condoms haven't gone out yet. Yeah, people are just probably like, they're all going to die anyway. Yeah, fuck it. Do I? We're going down anyway. There's no baby birth. You, you want to try it? Or, you know, the world might end in a few days. <laughs> yeah. I love you. Who knows? Have you ever tried fisting? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, oh. what, are, what are they going to do? Like, if it really... Seriously, if it turns to shit, what happens? I mean... Who, everyone, or...? Well, I, I'm just thinking about it. I mean, people do take the piss out of people with guns and shit. Yes. Right? But if it did turn to shit, what would you do? <sighs> Don't know. I, I thought about putting a sign up on my front door saying no food, all cash kept on premises, so I thought that might be... <laughs> that's, that's the wrong way to go. That might be... Just in case anyone was breaking and entering looking for food. I got I got more cat food than people food in my joint. I'm fucked. I'm gonna be eating cat food soon. Like nah. but, but the pizza joint down the road from my place is still going. So there goes my plan of uh not stress eating the apocalypse away and going down a few sizes, but Well, yeah, no, nah, it, it hasn't worked for me. I'm done with <laughs> Dude, I got three bags of pasta at home. That shit's a commodity now, but I got no fucking pasta sauce. So if anyone wants to trade, oh. maybe a bag of pasta for a All bottle, right, bottle you, of sauce. You a couple of cans of tomatoes <laughs> before you leave. No, um, no. People need to trade. Money's going to be worth fuck all now. Well, yeah, but not but that, now. But that's so. what I'm saying. Say the month. Say it does turn. What are people going to do? I mean, and and, and this, is, this goes back to the. I mean, I've got a mate of mine. He's old man's. I'm not going to call, I'm not calling it doomsday, but I'm just saying, if it did happen, if it did hypothetically go that way, yeah. well, what the fuck, I mean, he, he, I he's got know. plenty of gold, and I know this for a fact. What's gold going to do? Mate, it's a can't great, eat it. It's a great bartering tool. It is, but you can't eat it. Plenty of silver. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, people are going to barter with something. I think rose gold's more in these days. Did if you, you had some it? rose gold knocking about. Silver flashy phone cases coming around. <laughs> 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 I 
All the basic bitches after rose. I don't want that gold gold. I want that rose gold. I don't know. I'm just I'm sitting there going, this can't be good now. This has got to, something's got to happen at this point in time. I mean, um, and and, uh, and um, I just want to I want to I want to chuck out a shout out. Not a shout out, but a but a little um, a little uh, look. Italy's fucking copping it in the ass. Oh yeah. And I feel really more, more than the Greeks, huh? <laughs> yeah, more than the Greeks. And I feel really bad. I mean, shit. I mean, uh, uh, oh, I don't know. I'm trying to, trying to get my head around it. Like, I was, I was saying to the missus this morning, like, you know, why? You know, it, it, the whole thing is, why? for me, it's why. Yeah. Why has this all just suddenly gone bang? Big thing appeared. It's a man made virus. It's hit. I reckon it's man made. Oh, it's man made. 100% man made. That, that, I reckon it's man made. You know, it's, 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 I mean, I'll show you a little. Yeah, video yeah, before. Uh, I mean, something Patch, Andrew yeah. Patch, or whatever. Anthony Patch, check it out. He's a scientist. Um, I mean, it is conspiracy, but in the sense of, you know, scientists have been talking about it for years. Um, but I mean, I'm a big conspiracy person. I yeah, me too. Shit. That's why we're doing this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't like conspiracy theories, tune out now and go watch one of the other ones. But um, tune, tune out. And, and it's not, it's just, just opens your mind up. Because you're sitting there going, well, with all this shit going on, and, but it actually shows you how people aren't compassionate as well. No, fuck no. How the world's fucking changed. Um, it's every fucking man for himself. People you know, scared that'll, that'll do that. Yeah. You know, it was like the other day, we, we basically got down to like, oh, I don't know, oh, a couple of sleeves on that roll of dunny paper. Yeah. And she tried to come in the house, so I locked her out. <laughs> no, it's it's my turn. Why would I lock her out? <laughs> uh, last time I checked, you're outside. You're closer to the shops. <laughs> yeah. Go get it. Um, but no, nah, it's like yeah, even that. But I've got I've got to give her credit. She actually goes to me. She's oh, I'm jumping online. And I said yeah, that ain't gonna good go. luck. You got fuck loose and oh, good luck. Me Danny paper. Fuck the bitch got it. Really? <laughs> she fucking wow. got it. She got it within four days. Wow. And oh man, I, I, I'm just like, nah, fuck but, it. But, but the, the, <laughs> there wasn't one missing, like the, uh, oh, no, no. the delivery guy took one. But it was actually tip. quite funny. She saw him rock up. Yeah. He jumped out of the car with the bag and he's parked like a, a, like a house up. He's walking down and she's gone out, opened the door. Hi, here you go. He's all... Um, you've got to go back inside because I'm not allowed to hand it to you. I've got oh, to leave it. Fuck off. I've got to leave it on the front porch. I've got to take a photo of it. And she's like, "All right." Just, wow. Well, she goes, I'm, "I'm actually surprised that I've actually gotten anything." So. Wow. I don't know. I'm just like. She says that a bit, doesn't she? <laughs> yeah, to me, she does. <laughs> I don't know. Hus- hus- husband of the year. <laughs> yeah. Postman always keeps smiling every time he gets. <laughs> How's your wife? She had? No, she's working, mate. Have you ordered anything for a bit? Oh, okay, no, I'll come back. Bastard, we keep asking me that shit. <laughs> I wonder if postmans get as much as. Nah, like they used to back back in the day. Do you reckon? I don't know. Remember, remember, like you, you watch those, you watch those things like the postman, the milkman. Yeah, well, all sayings come from somewhere. Do you reckon, or, or do you reckon it was just that one guy who was just like, yeah, mate, I. Uh, I delivered some shit the other day and oh, she was ready for it. Like, do you reckon it was just one off and then... It sort of just snowballed. That got, that got around the water core and then the guy who wanted to sound cool was like, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I shaked someone the other day as well. Yeah, on the job. might have snowballed, but... Yeah. Maybe. Who knows? But but the, even even that, I don't know if... Well, you probably don't remember. It's like the pool cleaner and pornos and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure that happened. Yeah, no, that always happens. I'll do that now. <laughs> I was like, seriously, you shouldn't be in speedo. And I just walk around and hey, you It's my it? house, motherfucker. <laughs> I walk around, hey, blondie, what's going on? That's my, that's my, <laughs> um, but, um, we well, don't have a script today, if anyone's noticed. Yeah, yeah we're just, we're just talking shit. Yeah. We're just talking shit. Hey, it's two guys. But, what, what is it? Two but, guys talking about anything and everything. But yeah, conspiracy theory. I think yeah. I've come up with one. Not come up. This is done. This has come from minimal contact with people lately, so I think my mind's kind of gone off the rails a little bit. But okay. I remember reading something ages ago about China being in massive debt to the US. Mm-hmm. And I remember something a couple of years ago again. Don't quote me on dates. I can't fucking remember. I can't remember what I did yesterday, right? So China had like a military show. 
yeah. showing we've got this, this and that, blah, 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 yeah. like World War Two style doing the, you know, uh, televising it live, all that sort of shit. It was yeah. like, oh, 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 calm down. Now, everyone uses China for stuff, right? You want that iPad? It costs them, it costs Apple, you know, let's just say a hundred bucks to make, but then they sell it for a grand. Yeah. Profit margins are fucked. So, what if China's sick of being, you know, the little guy in terms of uh, profit and just making everything for everyone and they're sick of it? Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like that, it's like the fruiter you used for fucking years, his price is always, you know, a dollar, dollar for a kilo of apples. So you're saying, for a while. You're, so your conspiracy is they, they want to go hype the price up. They want to, well, they'll come out with a, a, a cure first. And they're like, what's that? You want the cure? Wipe out debt. Yeah, actually. That's what I think it is. And then the perfect excuse is, mm. based on stereotypes of everyone, like what do people always say? You know, Asians are bad drivers. Uh, they eat anything, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Not my words. Like stereotypes are there for a reason, right? Yeah, yeah. Not hanging shit on anyone. But what if they're like, well, the world thinks we eat fucking anything. Yeah, we ate some dodgy bats. Now we've got this. Sorry, everyone. Yeah, but this is the thing that they've always got to chuck it on something. It was like, all right, like, remember AIDS when they said it came from Africa because of the, the shaggy monkeys? Shaggy monkeys, yes. Yeah. Which was a load of shit. Was it? Don't know. Wasn't there. <laughs> <laughs> I never tried. No, I'm just saying, I don't know. It wasn't there. Can't say. But, I mean, I think there's always going to be somebody that's just going to chuck that comment out like that. Um, but with the debt thing, yeah, it's very possible. Very possible because. If they do owe their money, because it's just, I don't know, it's just... I mean, everyone owes everyone money globally. Yeah. Like, the world's in debt, something ridiculous. It's yeah. like, well, who to? Aliens? Fucking who knows? But it's just like, what better way to clean the slate than be like, okay, here's this virus that's coming out of our province. And I, coming back to, uh, I mentioned the, 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 the videos of Wuhan Market. Yeah. It looks basically like a dirty version of Vic Market, right? I don't think yeah. they export. It doesn't look like they export. And the guy walking through, no one was looking at him, so it was a hidden camera. Now, had that been a Westerner, yeah. right? I know this from visiting my family in Singapore. Yeah. I went through, I don't have blue hair, blue eyes, but, you know, I had brown hair, brown, like hazel eyes, mm. whitish skin. I was pretty fucking tan, but yeah. everyone stopped and looked at you. Oh, yeah. So it was definitely a local going through, I think. But they had, like, one dude chopping up a snake, then chopping up a dog, blah, blah, blah. No fridges, no ice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Flies around, so it was easily above, you know, 25 degrees out there. And all this shit just mingling. Yep. And then, you know, you mentioned chickens and stuff, and that's like, you know, the biggest thing we've got to worry about mm. in terms of cross-contamination. So yeah. so what, what, what better way to cover it over with, yeah, the bats, yeah, we shouldn't have eaten these. Now we've got this. Then why so many dead in Italy? I don't know. They, they, make, yeah, they've, they've, got, got, they've got an older look. I'm, I'm just saying we, we've got an old population in Australia. Yeah, there are very old population there, and this is what this is what I'm worried about for our country. Yeah, that shit's gonna go down now. Yeah, because our population's quite old. Yeah, um, and I think Italy's the same way. They've got an older population, so a lot more older people. Um, I don't know. Just it's just too, just too fucking weird, man. Well, you look at the death tolls of places, and I found some website that a friend put me onto. It was fucked. Yeah. You can look up the population of any country, and it's in real time. It's a, like it, 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 it refreshes every hour. Like, uh, it's not real time, but you think about it. You know, yeah, every hour. In the scheme yeah. of things. So we had drinks the other night. We were watching Italy's population, and it dropped by sixty within an Jesus. hour. Yeah, it's nuts. But then you look at the average. And I was really curious as to see what it was morbid as fuck. We we're having a great time, but you look at the average of the death, uh, yeah. the average age of the death. Sorry, and over two thousand something, whatever it was, the average age was eighty one. Yeah. yeah, I'm not good at maths, but yeah. that's a lot of old people. Yeah, big percentage. for the average to be that. So maybe they just can't handle it. But then I also read, like, um, there's some news, news article that popped up that India's fine. That's the... What that, the fuck? That's the thing. 
and, and, and what made me, well, it didn't make me laugh, but I saw them cleaning the streets. Yeah. Now, I think I told you a couple of weeks ago, my brother-in-law went to India for a conference, yeah. for a hotel conference there. And um, rang him up, had you go, it was good, blah, 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 all the rest of it. It's fucking shit up. Yeah. <laughs> and it's, well, it's, I'm going to find this article while you're telling me this story. But. Anyway, he's turned around and, and um, he wouldn't even eat the fruit they left him. I mean, he's pretty high up in hotels. I think. Oh, he'd be too scared to. He yeah. didn't touch it. He, didn't, he goes, "Not, not touching his shit. Not touching yeah. any of the food. And not touching the water. I buy everything. He bought everything." And then I see these Indian guys spraying like the footpath where they're walking. Yeah. And then you look on the side. There's like a bloody slum, garbage, shit, fucking you name it. It was just there. And now they haven't reported anything. I mean, it's like. It's really weird. Unless, maybe they're immune to shit now. You know what I mean? Like, their body's so used to crap. Yeah. And poor sanitary. Yeah. yeah. So, maybe their, bo- their body's so used to it now that they're not actually getting infected. Yeah, it's like, oh, virus. That's cute. Yeah. yeah whatever that uh, is. Yeah. Boom. Keep going. So, India has just crossed the 200 <clears throat> mark. Deaths. No, no, no. Cases. Oh, Okay. That's it. Cases two hundred. I mean, it's two hundred and something. But and that's like a billion population. Then. Yeah. So maybe may, may there's something in the food. So we're not eating enough curry. Maybe I fucking love curry. Curry's nice. Oh, if I need an excuse to eat more butter chicken, that's the whitest shit ever. But like, <laughs> I went on a date once, and the girl's like, "What do you want to eat?" I was like, "I could go Indian." She goes, "You're not ordering butter chicken, are you?" I was like, "Fuck yeah." I am. <laughs> <laughs> Why? I was like, well, because I can't deal with spice, but mm. butter chicken is fucking incredible. <laughs> and here she is eating like fucking the spice, extra, 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 extra hot tandoori. Yeah. Like the, the <laughs> color of tandoori chicken is so appetizing. I was like, can I try some? She goes, no, don't. I tried a bit, fucking regretted it instantly. But like, <laughs> fuck man, like any excuse to eat extra curry, fuck yeah, I'm in. But yes, yeah, so I don't know. It's just it's just weird. Like it's it's hit the eye ties. It's, well, it's the older population, like we said. But, yeah, I don't know. And we're not scientists, by the way. We're just... <laughs> we're just <laughs> scientists? Nah. We're just, we're just going off news and shit with friends. So not at all. Don't take any health and safety advice from us, please. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I found something. I thought it'd be... It'd be... Is that eucalyptus spray? I'm just spraying some shit. Just, just snort it. <laughs> you know what this is? My father-in-law used to be a, a photographer. This is that. Just, just, just air. <laughs> <laughs> compressed air. Compressed air. air. <laughs> yeah. Used to be a photographer. I thought it'd be a bit of a laugh. <laughs> Removal of dust, lint, and other static debris. Yeah, see? There you go. It gets rid of photographing repair wires. work. Fucking hell. Could you just imagine now, I'm fucking around with this thing, and this is the fucking cure. Right? It's, this is a cure in your head. It's called Puff Off. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Jeez. We could make billions. We could, we could, the, the tablets could be, yeah, there we go. Puff Off tablets. Fucking coronavirus killer. <laughs> e- eBay it right now. I know. A thousand puffs. <laughs> <laughs> Now, if there's any listeners uh, who listen in regularly, yes, I sound like I've got a cold. I don't have one. I'm just fucked on hay yeah, fever. Right. <clears throat> no, I had a house inspection. I had to clip that. I had to cut my fucking grass. I forgot how fucked I am with yeah. that. If I die next week, you know, you know where it came from. That's all right. I know how to press record now. Yeah, he's learned how to use the fucking <laughs> system. You walk in the house, marry the wife, take the dog, and bet he's dead. Nice! <laughs> Jeez. Gets me all wound up now. I'm ranting. <laughs> <laughs> Am I hearing voices again? <laughs> <laughs> what else has been happening? What have you been doing with this? You've just been working. Fuck, I've been working. You know what yeah. makes me laugh? I've been sitting there, right, going, fuck, it wouldn't be bad having a holiday, you know, like yeah. a couple, couple of weeks off or whatever. Yeah. No, 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 my Or a way. long weekend or? No, no, my way. It's like, brutal. You're on, mate. You're on. And I'm like, all right, let's. let's Do I have to? Deliver some flowers, I suppose. Fuck. You know. So people are still cheating, they need to make amends? Well, yeah, probably, or, or a shitload of people are dying we don't know about. 
be harsh. But ben, Benny's funerals. <laughs> He'll do your deal. <laughs> He'll go up to your family. Oh, I can't fine. pass in the truck. Uh, yeah, no, I'm not touching the body. You just grab the throws yourself. <laughs> just start throwing <laughs> roses on people. <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh, oh, okay. Now, I've got, I've got another conspiracy. Oh, hit me. What about now? Since the you know clergy, yeah, used to fuck all the kids and that. <laughs> the obvious thing. Yeah. What about if gods bring down the thunder on them now? Yeah, Think about it. If God really wanted to bring down the thunder, he'd tell them to stop asking for money. Yeah, true. I think that would fuck them harder than anything. Yeah, I suppose. But yeah. maybe they have run out of money because Pell's back in jail. Oh, did he? Did he actually get? Um, what happened to his appeal? I didn't see any of that. Um, I think he, I think he I think he got denied. Oh, I should probably look that up. But um, that might mean one of my jokes is still relevant. I don't know. But he, yeah, as far like you got to think maybe the money's run out. Yeah. So now, oh, so it just opens the floodgates for anyone. The Red Sea is party. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's it gold worth now, motherfucker? Yeah, jeez. Oh, there we go, the religious are off our back now. <laughs> Were they ever on our back? Or? No, probably not. They probably weren't part of our, part of the, uh, the team balls in comedy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know about this, this doesn't sound very... So you're saying, like I said last week, you're saying China started all this. <laughs> Not putting it out there. You said China. Not, not, well, it started in Wuhan. Last time I checked, that's in fucking China. So, I, I look, I, honestly, people have done a lot worse and gotten away with it. And by that I mean, you know, openly doing genocide. Uh, you know, you look at World War II, you look at um, Pol Pot, you look at yeah, the Gaddafi, you look at fucking anyone. Yeah. Whatever happens in Africa, like, you know, mass killings culling the herd and all that sort of stuff it wouldn't surprise me just because I think humanity's fucked and I don't trust it yeah I don't think it's inconceivable that's that's all I'm saying oh uh, look I agree I, I agree with you there's, there's more to this there's more to this than it fucking makes you like dude they have a one child policy yeah for a start like they're over, uh, clearly overpopulated otherwise you wouldn't have that fucking thing but, but did, didn't, they, didn't they change that at some point Maybe, but it's all, it's been there for as long as I've been alive, definitely. I actually watched a doco the other day about China. And yeah. this is what pisses me off. Like, you hear some people talk about, oh, you know, it's all great, and, no, uh, fucking, you know, Beijing's fine, and we're doing great, and all this sort of shit, which is cool, whatever, I don't care. Um, but then you've got places like these provinces that yeah. have got, he, the parents have left to earn money. Yeah. So they become, like, factory workers, yeah. whatever. Fucking runners, Nike, whatever the case may be. The kids are staying in these provinces. Yeah. And the grandparents are looking after them. Yeah. Right? And it's quite shocking to see how many kids are left behind. Yeah, fuck. And nobody does a fuck all about it. And basically, they've just started with a few, a few people now. A couple of the older generation of kids that were left behind are now looking after the younger kids and helping them get through because they reckon China within the next probably I don't know, 10 years is going to be one of the biggest mental health yeah fuck problems in the world yeah no shit because of all the it's not a, well it's mental abuse in the sense that they don't see their parents their parents yeah. have left some kids haven't seen their parents like for fucking I don't know 5 or 6 years abandonment issues through the water yeah you know, and they're living with their um, you know, grandparents and these are just like farmers and shit like that. It was yeah, sure. quite interesting to see because, you know, you, you get the other side of it. Oh, you know, we've, we're doing well. Everything's fantastic. We can buy this. We can grab that, which is cool. Yeah. Great. Great for you. But what about fucking those ones that are yeah, left behind? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And 90% of it, and, I'm, and look, I'll talk, I'll talk from the perspective of the when the war happened in the Balkans. Yeah. The rich didn't get affected. Just, just for those who don't know about the Balkan Vul Wars, you want to... Okay, so like a Balkan war. So, uh, it was uh, under Yugoslavia, um, and then it all sort of separated. Um, you know, you got Croatia, Serbia, uh, Montenegro, Macedonia, uh, Slovenia, which were all very close. Yeah, they're all. It was all, one, yeah. all under one country. It was all under one 
one, one sort of alliance, whatever you want to call it. Um, and then they all sort of started splitting up. Yep. But they started a civil war within themselves. Yep. Um, and people that had money could get the fuck out. Yep. People that didn't have money couldn't go anywhere. Yep. And a lot of people were left behind. A shitload of people had died. Yep. And in that, in this, in there was a lot of genocide and shit. Fuck yeah, there was a lot of genocide yeah. on both sides. And if anybody turns around to me and says it wasn't, that's a lot of shit. There was on one side, you know, genocide. On the other side, there was genocide. And the fuck thing about that whole war is now each country that you know, you got your, you know, like I'm Montenegro, so Montenegro, Serbia, Croatia, Macedonia. There's not a lot of people in these places. Yeah. You know, we're talking from from let's say I don't know, two hundred thousand up to a million and a half people. Yeah. So yeah, tiny. It's countries. fuck all. Yeah. You know, and everybody's leaving because there's nothing there anymore. So yeah. there's no jobs. No, there's nothing. There's n- they they keep trying to generate, but they can't. Corruption's there. Yeah. People are getting screwed in the ass. But my point is, the poor always suffer. That's the, that's the point I'm trying to put across. As in, the poor always suffer because people turn around. They're the easiest one you can get. Yeah. Because if you can change that person's mind, you know, twofold. That person's going to fight for you. Yeah. Right? And that person's the one that's going to sort of cower and, and not do anything about anything. So, and the rich are just going to go, well, okay, where's the first fucking boat plane? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You. yeah. You know what I mean? So... And I know a lot of people that that died and, 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 and families that lost, you know, brothers and fathers and yeah. all that sort of shit. And it was fucking dirty. I mean, what, what, what year was that again? It was in the 90s. 90s, yeah. You know, and it's actually quite funny. Um, oh, I can't remember what it was called. There's, there's an actual doco, if you watch it. Uh, I think it was called... The, I think it's The Way... Slavia split up or something like that is a nice little doco that you can watch it's a five part yeah. and you actually see every you know like one one word started the whole fucking thing oh no shit you know one one guy standing up and going nobody's gonna take our people down yeah bang that was it yeah and it wasn't a lot in the, and where it started it wasn't a lot of people there it was fuck all people it was probably let's say I don't know 50,000 people in that, that area yeah and it actually started in there and sort of just spread, spread like wildfire. And it was, it was, a, it was the news, the news spreading bullshit. And, yeah. You know, all that sort of stuff, you know, false, false, um, uh, what Trump says, fucking false, false news and all fake that sort news. of shit. Yeah. Fake news. And, and you see it and you go, people, people haven't got enough, uh, I don't know, what's the word, enough fucking brains. Yeah think for themselves so when the media thinks for them they you're think fucked. that's that's true you're fucked yeah you know and it's not like that it's like you gotta think you gotta think outside the box man you gotta, and that's why I keep that's what I was saying to you before what the fuck do people do yeah and if it turns to shit what are people gonna do do you reckon the media's got something to answer for fuck in yeah. the last few weeks absolutely they do yeah absolutely you know the shit they do one 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 side of the media is going uh, COVID fucking nineteen or whatever the fuck it is. The other one's going coronavirus, gonna yeah, kill you. Yeah, You're yeah. going yeah. down. What do you do? You know, it's like, well, wait a minute. Let's fucking hold. You know, pull yeah. the fucking pull the horses in for a second. Slow, slow down. Let's look at this. Let's see what the fuck's going on here. But they're not doing that. They're basically just fear mongering everybody. People are getting shitting themselves completely. Yeah. And you see the shit that's going on in the shops. Yeah. every man and dog for themselves and, 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 and I feel sorry because you see some of the older people they can't do shit yeah you know they were saying the other day it was like I actually laughed when they went oh it's an hour if the old people get in there between 7 and 8 fine I get it old people get up early they don't sleep I get it <laughs> can't wait to get old but in the same token it takes an old person fucking more than a fucking hour to walk around yeah. poles. Yeah. And it was actually quite funny because my mate turned around, he actually, he owns a little cafe. Shout out to Christos. Um, and um, anyway, he went out, he went down to Costco to go grab some stuff. And he walked in there. 
and he goes, he could see the pallet of dummy paper in the distance. Yeah. And he got to the point where all the old people were starting to get in there, yeah. start walking in. He goes, after they, these people were walking through, and it wasn't one of those, it wasn't the one hour yeah, yeah, shopping, it was yeah. just old people getting in there first. As they were going through, by the time they started walking, there was this whole rush of younger people coming through. Yeah. By the time these old people got to the dunny paper, gone. Oh, wow. And then you sit there going, where's the fucking, uh, no, I don't know what the word is, like fucking, where's, where's a bit of class? Where's a bit yeah. of um, compassion? Where's the where's that part of side of things, you know? You know, they, they keep turning around, oh, it's un-Australian. It's fucking more than fucking un-Australian. It's fucking, yeah. it's just know, wrong. It's wrong on every yeah. level, you know? And I don't know, I mean, I feel bad. I mean, you know, that old lady that I knocked down the other day. No, no I'm kidding. <laughs> Fuck, I'm kidding. <laughs> that fucking voice in my head again. <laughs> no, but you know what I mean. Like, you just yeah. be compassionate, man. It's like help, help a person out. If somebody's old, fucking. Give if you don't them. need it, don't grab it. Yeah. You know, like some of the shit, man. You know, like, like you know, I was looking in the cupboard the other day. You know, fucking. It's there's two of us in this house and a dog. Yep. Dog shits outside. It's me yep. and the wife. There's over 360 rolls in there. Oh, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> See, again, the little voice in my head. There's three. No, but it, the paranoia of that, like, you know, we, I, I had, like, just bought, I literally bought a four-pack. Yeah. I didn't know she, she was going to happen. No. She starts losing her shit going, you got to get more duddy paper. Yeah. Do what you can do. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. So, um, hey, how you doing? Uh, it's better. You yeah. need duddy paper there. <laughs> See, I'm lucky. I, I rarely go grocery shopping because I get fed at gigs most of the time. Right. So I, I can't remember the last time I actually cooked at home. And I I ran out of toilet paper like a month ago. Okay. So I bought your standard, you know, 24 pack. Yeah. That was a week before shit hit the fan. So I'm fine. But I just think it's like. And plus, shit at work. Make work pay for it. <laughs> <laughs> I actually got a bit worried. I was, I was driving yesterday actually and I, I usually stop at this truck stop area have my lunch yeah toilet whatever got, got into the toilet went oh, alright so I get a bit paranoid in my head I said oh I better take a bit of fuel alcohol wife like to see and all that <laughs> did all that and then I'm gone didn't, didn't even look if there was any dirty paper oh, no. and I'm gone if I just cleaned the whole fucking shitter for these people no. <laughs> and there's no dirty paper and I looked down and I went oh Send him an invoice for cleaning. <laughs> yeah. 